What's good with y'all? Can't be in the video straight like that. Comment down below if you want to see the next one. Like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Let's hop right into it, dog. So listen, these right here is gonna be the keys to stop overthinking, bro. Now, the thing about overthinking is that a lot of people let it get in the way of their success in life, bro. Understand this. You are the only one that's stopping you, really, when it comes to overthinking. You're the only one that's getting in your own way. Because when you overthink, you start to do things that are way out of character for you. You start to do things that are way out of left field that aren't even a part of what your original purpose was. Like, for example, let's say that you wanted to do something like start a YouTube channel, right? But you start overthinking, oh, what if this happened? What if this happened? What if people find out? You overthinking could have blocked you from having a million subscribers one day. You understand that, right? You overthinking probably blocked you from gaining a million dollars and becoming the richest person in the world one day. You probably had a great idea at some point in your life that you could have done, you could have executed on, but because you thought about it for a few seconds, because that one dude that, that bullied you in high school, because that one girl, you didn't want her to look at you sideways, or you didn't want that dude to, 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 to say something about you, you didn't want people to laugh at you or clown you, because you didn't want that to happen, you held back on your idea, you held back on your... Um, Whatever it is that you came up with, bro. And this happens a lot of time. Listen, bro, you have a creative mind, bro. A lot of y'all got creative minds. A lot of y'all have things that you want to do, ambitions and stuff like that. And understand that having ambition is one of the biggest parts of being a man, bro. If you don't, if you don't have ambition as a man, then there is absolutely no hope for you. Because if you ain't got ambition, bro, then you don't have nothing. You're just going to be sitting on the couch being lazy, doing absolutely nothing with your life, bro. But understand that when you have ambition, bro, you cannot be an overthinker. Because that is going to be the biggest detriment to your success, dog. You can make it bro you can literally make it you can get to the top bro it's not that difficult but the problem is that it's like a crabs in a barrel mentality it's so many people out here trying to build trying to pull you down and that's messed with your head they got in your mind and now that they got in your mind they got you already you just becoming another crab because when you get pulled down by the crabs in the barrels now you get salty and now you don't want nobody else to to get up out of there why because you couldn't do it and understand that it's all out of jealousy anytime somebody hate on you it's out of jealousy <clears throat> so all that overthinking stuff is completely invalid bro the problem is really you no matter what anybody else does it's really you how strong is your mind that's why you keep overthinking see the biggest uh uh the biggest part of overthinking is this <clears throat> you have a thought you have an intrusive thought and you hang on to it because you think it's your reality. That's where overthinking comes from. It comes from you making whatever your thoughts are your reality. You are not your thoughts. You understand that, right? You are separate from your thoughts. And when you finally realize that you're separate from your thoughts, then you start to realize like, hey, wait a minute. I don't have to keep thinking about these things. I actually have control over my subconscious mind as well. I have control over intrusive thoughts. There is no thought that is beyond me, that, that, that is uncontrollable, that just leads me and, 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 and just plagues me my entire life. I have control over my own brain. You understand that, right? The biggest lie ever told by the devil is that you have no control and that these thoughts are greater than you. They're not, bro. You have power over them. But the problem is that you just keep clinging on to them because you, you, you are scared of them becoming reality. And by you being scared of your thoughts becoming reality, by you being scared to act on your thoughts because of what someone might say or what someone might do, that fear right there is what's leading to that overthinking. <clears throat> because now you're bad. What overthinking is, it's a battle within yourself, bro. It's a battle. It's a battle between the part of you that wants to do something and the part, and the part of you that's afraid. The part of you that doesn't want to get out of that payroll. The part of you that wants to stay down where it's comfortable, bro. But you have to realize that being comfortable will never bring you progress. Being comfortable will never bring you success. You think you think Bill Gates and Steve Jobs and, and, and Jeff Bezos and, 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 and I don't know who some famous people. Kevin Hart, Dave Chappelle. You think they were comfortable when they were on their come up? You think they were comfortable when they first started doing stand up? You think they were comfortable doing? No, that no one, no one successful has ever just come out the gate successful. They all had to put themselves in a position where they were uncomfortable. They all had to beat that overthinking. They all had to beat the fear that they had inside of them. That's the biggest way to overcome overthinking. Beating that fear. Beat that fear, bro. You are not that thought. You keep thinking about something. You keep thinking about her. You keep thinking about that one girl. How she did you dirty. How she did you wrong. Or maybe you, maybe you just attached to some girl. Whatever. The reason you attached to her is because you have that fear that she gonna leave you one day. The girl that did you wrong, you keep overthinking. You keep replaying the whole thing over and over and over again because you're afraid that it's gonna happen again. And you keep replaying it because you think, okay, well, what am I gonna do differently next time? But the whole problem was that is that the we the, cause cause you overthinking it. So when you, you you thinking about that, that's gonna become your reality. 
AKA what that means is you keep thinking about that situation that happened in the past, it's gonna happen again. Cause you're already preparing for it mentally. Oh, well next time a girl try to play me, why are you gonna be in a situation where a girl gonna try to play you next time? There shouldn't be no next time. You see how that works? The thing stopping you from being successful in whatever area of life is you. You have to stop that overthinking. You have to stop clinging to your thoughts. And I understand this the most, bro. Don't think I'm just sitting here trying to give out, you know, advice and I ain't never been through it, bro. Let me tell y'all something, bro. I used to go through mad overthink, bro. I, I overthink a lot. I overthink a lot. I'm a thinker. Most definitely, I be in my head a lot, dog. I am the last person that if, if you would have knew me a few years ago, bro, I am the last person that you would have thought had a YouTube channel. I'm the last person that you would have thought been in this position with subscribers and views and all this because I was an overthinker and I was nervous all the time. I was always constantly thinking about what other people's going to think of me. I was always constantly afraid of my thoughts becoming reality. But once I started to let go and said, you know what? It is what it is. That's when my life started to flourish and yours can too. You don't have to be a slave to your own mind. But there is no trick. There is no gimmick, bro. I don't care what doctor, I don't care what nurse. Um, there ain't no medication out there that's going to help you, bro, from overthinking. You don't have nothing wrong with you. Everybody overthinks. There's nothing wrong with you. But you have to develop mental strength, bro. You, and, 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 and you may not want to hear it because everyone I want to hear is some kind of quick fix. You want to hear how to fix things quickly. You want to, oh, uh, let me just take this. Let me pop this pill so I can stop overthinking. Oh, let me, let me do this exercise, bro. Ain't no exercise that's going to help you. Ain't no pill that's going to help you. Nothing, none of it is going to help. You just got to start thinking to yourself, bro. I'm not going to keep doing this. I'm done overthinking, bro. I'm taking control. I'm taking control starting today. And it's, and it's almost like a, it's like you stuck in your own little matrix, because a lot of you don't even believe that you can stop overthinking. A lot of y'all are stuck in a loop because it's you, you, you thinking like, well, Cam, you know, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Why are you telling yourself those lies? You can't do it because you keep telling yourself you can't do it. You understand the power of belief is, is very strong, right? In the Bible, even, it talks about the power of belief. If you believe something in your heart, truly, bro, you can do it. If you believe that you can stop overthinking, then you can literally do it. But it's all down to you. No one can change your, I can't change your beliefs. I can't change what you think about yourself. I can't change whether or not you cling to your thoughts or not. Only you can do that. I cannot beat the fear inside of you for you. Only you can do that. Ain't no exercise and nothing like that, bro. You just have to start talking to yourself. Maybe journal some things down. Write some things down. Write some positive things down. How about that? That's something you can do. Start bringing some positivity into your life. Because see, the issue is that so many people like to hang around people that are negative that's probably why you keep overthinking. That's why you keep second, uh, second guessing. That's why you always have this constant anxiety and fear within you because you constantly hanging around negative people. You constantly hanging around people that's talking down and bad about you, D talking down and bad about other people. Even you talking, are you hanging around evil, hateful, spiteful people? How can you ever have a good thought about yourself? How can you ever stop overthinking when you hanging around people like that? Start hanging around people that encourage you. Start hanging around people that's going to put positivity in the air. If you need to, start listening to, uh, to some positive music. Turn on some gospel. Turn off the young boy and turn on some gospel. My wife, if that's what you got to do, put some positivity in your life. Put some positivity in your life because that's all you really need. And once you get that positive thought, once you start changing your mindset about yourself, I guarantee you'll stop overthinking. Because overthinking comes when you don't think you're adequate enough. If you thought you were adequate enough, then you having those thoughts constantly in your head because no one overthinks about good thoughts. Anytime we think about overthinking, it's always bad, negative thoughts. Let's just be real here. No one's ODing on, on, positive, on positivity or you wouldn't be watching this video. If you had some positive thoughts about yourself, if you changed the way you, you saw yourself, bro, if you raised your self-esteem, I guarantee you will stop overthinking instantly and it would take some time but you got to work with yourself you have to allow yourself time stop being so harsh on, oh i just suck i i i, I suck I, I i i this i that i i, I can't do it that's on you bro that's on you you have two options you can either live your life continuously overthinking nervous set like the average guy you can be the average person in the world that just goes through life nervous, overthinking. Now you got all these other problems. I mean, that's why you got... I ain't even gonna get into it. I ain't even gonna get into it. But most of the world overthinks. That's why things are the way that they are. That's why you, that's why you can't even tell somebody about themselves these days. You, cri you criticize someone, now all of a sudden, you're shaming. You're shaming them. 
oh, okay, right. It's because we always overthink. Anytime somebody say something to us, we... Because we don't even have enough mental strength. What happened to uh, sticks and stones might break my bones, but words will never hurt me. We cling on to everybody's every word. We cling on to our own negative words. Why? Change yourself, bro. Raise your self-esteem. Start saying positive things to yourself. I don't care if you're just sitting in your room right now. Say something positive about yourself. Write down something positive about yourself. It's real simple. It's real easy, bro. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do, bro. Bro, even the Lord tells you that you are literally made specially and wonderfully and intimately, bro. You have no limitations. The devil's already been defeated, bro. You've already been healed from whatever it is you need to be healed from, bro. <laughs> you have no limitations. You can do or be anything that you want to be. And see, the biggest detriment, uh, the biggest stop, stopping factor to that is other people. Man, forget what other people, bro. I've been said this, bro. Forget other people, bro. Other people aren't you. Other people aren't you. Other people will cause you to overthink because they don't want you to be successful. They're jealous. They wish they had half the confidence you had. They, they, they wish they had what you had. You start climbing out that barrel. You start climbing out that barrel doing something. They, bro, let me tell you, bro. I seen an analogy. It's like a rubber band, bro. The more you pull in that, this is you, right? Imagine I was holding a rubber band and this you. You're going to go this way. The more you go this way, the more tension you're going to be. These are all your friends and family and people that you call close to yourself. They're going to keep, you know, the tension going to keep coming. The tension going to keep coming. They're going to keep hating on you. They're going to keep saying, oh, this, oh, that. But one day, boom, that rubber band is going to break. And I saw that on a TikTok. I'm not going to take credit for it. I've seen that on a TikTok. I ain't going to lie, but I don't remember who it was. But shout out to them. What that rubber band going to break one day, bro. You don't have to overthink. Other people will try to get you to overthink so that you second guess yourself. To, because misery loves company, dog. People are miserable. People are miserable because that's all everyone has is negative thoughts. Just like the Joker movie. All he has is negative thoughts. That's most people. That's most people. And when all you have is negative thoughts, of course, what, what, what can you do except overthink? What can you do? Because if all you have is negative thoughts, that means you don't see yourself very well. So any anytime something comes up, anytime an intrusive thought comes up, anytime somebody says something, anytime you convince yourself of something, I mean, I mean, of course you're gonna start overthinking. <laughs> because, oh man, is this really true? Nah, that can't be true. Oh man, it is true. Oh, it's true. And then they, and then you just wallow in your own self pity. Oh, woe is me. I wake up and I just think so bad about myself, bro. It's all on you, dog. Life is on you. Start to take control, man. There is no gimmick, bro. The key to stop overthinking is for you to is for you to grow up, dude. Be your own biggest fan. Cause ain't nobody else gonna root for you but you. That's all I got. Love y'all. I'm out of here, man. Peace.